Hello everybody, we're going to learn how to use the wheatgrass juicer, which we also use for turmeric. It is kept right down here on top of the shelf where we keep all the extra cups and stuff in one of these hotel pans. And please make sure after you wash it that it gets back into that spot so we don't have to go on a scavenger hunt for all the parts. So, putting it together is actually relatively easy. Um, this is the main base. It goes on the counter. Then you tighten it. Then the next piece that goes in is this little piece right here that has a bunch of holes in it. This um, littler side faces out. Slide that in. Next comes the blade right here. The, this little end goes in first. And that will actually go all the way, uh, you'll have to twist it so it comes out. Then, you can twist on the front part. You don't want to twist it on quite all the way. You want to twist it on so there's about one of the little kind of ridges out. Otherwise, you won't get all of the juice. Then we've got the handle. Then you should be good to go. Then, this actually right here is about the amount that, of wheatgrass that you'll chop off for the juicer. So, once you put gloves on, always want to make sure that you have gloves when you're handling any of the food. I'm going to get the wheatgrass. Bit of a haircut. I'll stuff it in there as you go. And you don't need to make sure you cut down all the way to the bottom, but make sure you get a good amount of it. Grab some extras. Then grab actually two of these little shot glasses that are kept right by all our cups and lids and stuff. One goes underneath the holes where it's actually the juice is going to come out. One goes in front to kind of catch some extra juice and the pulp and such. Then once those are in place, take the green plunger and you're in business. You're going to kind of need to shove it down in there a couple times. Once it's all in, you can start. Okay, so now it's all in there. And you'll go pretty much until the juice stops. And it should be only about half full because it's only about an ounce of wheatgrass. So if you got the right amount, it should be about that full. And if somebody ordered it to go, there are some lids right down here as well. Right in this little guy right here. Then, once the customer has their wheatgrass shot, then it's the task of putting this away. So you'll put the wheatgrass, which obviously, when there is actually wheatgrass, goes in the grab-and-go fridge by the register. That guy is sitting right over there. Then you can unscrew this from the counter, take it back to get washed, and you'll want to make sure to take it all the way apart before you wash it, so unscrew the blade, which you can use this tool for if you need to. Take the top front off, the blade out, the little piece that has all the holes, and then wash it and please once again make sure that this all goes back in this so all the parts are together so we don't have to run and find them next time we do a wheatgrass shot.